Helicopter, helicopter over my head. I see a color and the color is red. All right, students, how many of you have played that game before? Usually you get a nice whippy jump rope. You sling it over your head. You know, then when you drop, shout the color, you drop the jump rope down to ankle level and try to lash your friends in the ankles. They gotta jump over it if they're wearing the color or jump back if they're not. That's a great, it's a fun little game. It helps develop agility and a resistance to pain, intense stinging pain on your ankles. And it's just incredibly appropriate today because for the first time ever, humans have flown a rotary aircraft on Mars, or as I like to call it, a cute little miniature helicopter called the Ingenuity. Now, Mars, NASA doesn't just randomly name these things. Ingenuity means the aspect of being creative and having intelligence and being clever and able to solve problems. And there are a lot of problems to solve if you want to fly a helicopter on Mars. The air is thin, there's dust storms, what do you do for power, how do you control it? That's a whole lot of things to think about. But today, as they do this, it's a good time to think about the very first probe that they successfully landed on Mars. Way back in 1976, as a sort of bicentennial celebration of the founding of the U.S., they launched the Viking 1 probe from Earth. It landed on July 20th on the Martian surface. Now, this was a very, very different craft. But first, I'm going to show you what the actual ingenuity looks like. This little helicopter, it's flying around up there right now. So as we're talking, as we're taking this class, that helicopter is bouncing around on Mars. Now they have to conserve fuel, it's battery powered, and they have to be really careful with it, but it's a really exciting day. Just watch that little guy go. That's ingenuity. But we are here to build our own thing. Now, the Ingenuity and the Viking Lander are very different. The Viking Lander was huge and bulky. It was built over 40 years ago, mostly by Lockheed and Martin under NASA's direction. But basically, it was a giant camera set up on these big pads, as you can see from the diagram here. But it shares a lot in common with Ingenuity. It started as a diagram, as drawings on paper. From it came, fr They both came from someone's Ingenuity, creativity, and a whole lot of hard work. In the words of Einstein, genius is 10% inspiration and 90% perspiration. So, what, it, what was the Viking what was the Viking probe? Well, according to NASA, the it was the first spacecraft to successfully land on Mars. So Viking 1 was part of a two-part mission to investigate the red planet and search for signs of life. Viking 1 consisted of both an orbiter and a lander designed to take high-resolution images and study the Martian surface and atmosphere. The orbiter was there because it would have been nearly impossible to get a signal from the surface of Mars to the surface of Earth. So as you can see from this diagram, they sent the signal up from the Mars lander to the satellite orbiter and the satellite Mars satellite sent the data to the Earth satellite and the Earth satellite sent the data down to NASA. Now, according to legend, we do have the picture, but, uh, but the Viking lander wasn't the first spacecraft to take images of Mars. It was just the first one to land. The very first image of Mars came from Mariner 4, and there's a funny story behind that. That when they got that first image of NASA, they could barely wait for the computer to decode. Computers were slow. Now you notice that the video that we got from Mars wasn't too great. It was kind of glitchy, kind of low res. Well, that was because of the broadcast time, but the computers were the computers were so fast now that they can basically translate that data real time. But the NASA scientists got so excited for that very first picture of the Martian surface that they ran out, rushed out, got crayons, and they re they were able to read the numbers much faster than the computer could, and they crayon drew this image of the Martian surface. Now, that, that's a kind of a fun story, and it shows you how far we've advanced that we can watch a live video feed of Ingenuity with just with a literal light speed delay being the only thing stopping us from watching it truly live. But what we're doing today, well, the reason that we're here is we're going to make our own lander, and we're going we're also 
we've got a lot of options here. You can make a, just the lander if you want, mimicking the Viking ones you see here. You can make a rover like Spirit or Curiosity, or you can, or and and or you can make a helicopter like Ingenuity, or the spacecraft to, uh, or 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 a helicopter or the spacecraft to contain them. So let's get cracking.